as the network scale to, to make these accelerated compute optimized clouds, what we find is that the number of interconnects in them is going to grow significantly, and a vast majority of these are optical interconnects. So if you look at a traditional data center from a few years ago to what we would expect in the next couple of years, the first thing you're going to see is a large number of optical interconnects growing. The pie, so to speak, is expanding for, for everybody. But what happens is, from in a, in a traditional data center, you essentially have a one-size-fits-all, one optical link, one optical module, that you scale from anything from five or 10 meters all the way to two kilometers or even 10 kilometers in some cases. But with the scale that you need in AI and the considerations they have on high volume as well as the power requirements that they have to reduce the power as they scale the bits, you now segment these data center uh, in, you know, stages into different stages where you have the short reach, the medium reach, and the longer reach optical interconnects. Based on the AI architecture that our different customers adopt, they want to optimize different portions of the link, usually the ones that are highest volume for them or have the highest bottleneck in terms of power or in terms of latency. So what we are now finding is optimization and fragmentation of these optical modules within different parts of this data center network. So usually the things that are first to market, the modules that are first to market use what we call the full DSP. Because when you want to get to the next generation of speed, the next generation of switches, the next generation of NIC cards, there's a lot of uncertainty in exactly how those performance are going to be. And typically customers want optical modules designed and ready to go and to plug into the networks once the other endpoints are ready. So you have a little more margin built into those to account for any potential variations you might see in next generation technologies. So we call that the full DSP. This is something that gets them fastest to market. If you want to upgrade your network every 12 months or 15 months, that's what you would use, a full DSP. Gets you the scalability, gets you the reliability, and make sure that it works plug and play first time right. Once you had a few more months to look at how the network is optimized, maybe six to nine months, and customers have a better sense of how the different links are budgeted, how the different links have bottlenecks, we make what we call a link optimized DSP, which is essentially a cut down version of the full DSP, taking out some of the play margins in cases that it's not needed, adding margin in cases that it's needed. And really what that allows us to do is it's maybe nine months or a year behind the full DSP. It allows us to provide much lower latency, more deterministic latency, and actually cut the power down by as much as 30% or more. So it makes it much more efficient for our customers to deploy, but it comes nine to 12 months after these full DSP deployments. Now customers that don't want to move that fast, in so 12 to 18 months, they have three to four years to move. They can collect data over these links for the first 12, 18, 24 months, and they know exactly how these links work across a larger scale, those customers can now optimize some of these specific links and use what they call linear pluggable optics, which essentially is an optical module with the DSP removed. You don't need the DSP because you know exactly how the link is going to perform, you know what the variations are going to be because you've deployed it for the first couple of years, you know where all the gotchas are, and so you can make a link, you can make an optimized module, cannot scale, doesn't give you time to market, but if you remove the DSP, it does give you for a limited use case the lowest power and the lowest possible latency. So our customers are mixing and matching some of these use cases. They all essentially start with the full DSP. Some of them actually every 12 months move on to the next full DSP because they just want to move a lot faster. Customers that have a two to three year timeline can use a link optimized DSPs. And customers that have a little longer timeline can now then transition and save a little more power and latency with your what they call linear pluggable optics, uh, op optical module solutions. Mm -hmm.